All right, so we're going to look at the law of sines. So I want to find this side over here, which let's say is s, little s. So law of sines, and you can see it up at the top, is going to be, if I'm looking for s, I would have s squared equals, it's going to be the other two sides, so this one would be t, and this would be r, so we'll have r squared plus t squared minus 2rt, and then cosine of the big angle s. So substitute in your side. So I'll have s squared equals 23 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 23 times 15 times the cosine of 27. So, and then we just have to simplify this. So I have 23 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 23 times 15 and then cosine 27. I then have s squared equals, I'm going to do four decimal places, so I have point 139.2055 and then we will square root and I could just square root my answer. So take in everything. So I'm going to do second square root of answer. So instead of taking decimals, so I'm going to leave it as 0 0.2054983. Press enter. So I get S is about 11.798, so about 11.80. You'll notice that you need A squared, you need B squared, you need C squared. So I'm using this one. I'm using A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 B C cosine A. Okay. A. Alright, example two. So I'm looking for Y Z which is little x. So normally angles are named with capital letters variables and sides will be lowercase. So I'm going to have x squared equals, it's my other two sides, so I'm going to have 17.7 squared plus 27.4 squared minus 2 times both of those sides multiplied together and then cosine of 131.9 and I'm going to just substitute this in to my calculator. And then, so I have x squared equals, I have 17, 1,711, and then I have all of these decimal. So I'm just going to do second uh, x squared, and then I'm going to type in second and the negative key to get my answer. So I'll have x is about 41.37. So if you want... All right, next example. We're actually looking for angle A. So I don't know this angle, but I know the side across from it. So it's going to be 9 squared equals, let's go back to our first stuff. Uh, so I'm going to have 9 squared equals 
I'm going to have A, um, so I'm going to have B squared times C squared. So, we don't know, we know B is 15 squared, but we don't know this side over here. We don't know that. So, let's see what else we can do. We might have to find that first. So, if we're looking for that, we could say uh, x squared equals, it's going to be the other two sides. So, we're going to have b, a, and b. So, we'll have 9 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 9 times 15. And then we'll have cosine 107. And then I'm going to square root my answer. So I have x is about 19.62. So now I can say plus 19.62 squared minus 2 times 15 times 19.62 squared and then cosine A. So I have 81. So I'm going to do 81 uh, minus 15 squared minus 19.62 squared. And then, so I have, so I subtracted 15 squared over here, and I also subtracted 19.62 squared at the same time. So I have negative 528, and then I have 0.94444. I'm going to take at least four decimal places equals negative 2 times 15 times 19.62. I didn't mean to square that. And then cosine A. So now I'm going to divide everything by negative 2 times 15 times 19.62. So divide negative, I'm going to put that in parentheses, negative 2 times 15 times 19.62. So I end up with 0.8986. So now I have sine of A equals 0.8986, and I'll take the inverse cosine of both sides. So 0.8986, and I get A is about 26.03 degrees. Okay, if we want S, then we need R too. So I'm going to start out by finding R. So I would have R squared equals... I'm going to have 14 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 24 times 14 cosine 118. Now I'm just typing it in my calculator. And then I'm going to square root my answer. So I have 32.98 about. And now I can find S. So if I want angle S, I'm going to have 24 squared equals 
we'll have 14 squared plus 32.98 squared minus 2 times 32.898 times 14 and then we'll have cosine s. So I'm going to do 24 squared minus 14 squared minus 32.98 squared. That gives me negative 707.6804 and I'm going to divide that by negative 2 times 32.98 times 14. So I have 0.7664 equals cosine s and now I'll take the inverse cos of both sides. So the inverse cosine of that answer is 39.97. So inverse cosine of 0.7664 I get 39.97 degrees. All right, thanks for watching. We're going to do law of cosines tomorrow during class.